This morning, new data about the scale of the outbreak. China's CDC saying testing for antibodies in Wuhan revealed as many as 500,000 people may have been infected, nearly 10 times China's official tally. One year on, life in Wuhan appears strikingly normal. Streets are busy, kids are back in school, people packing bars and parties. We're standing here today very happy, she says. There's even a new exhibition in town, praising China's President Xi Jinping for defeating the virus. And a highly touted hospital built in 10 days, apparently no longer needed. This hospital has been closed for months. It's deserted now, but officials have left it here just in case of another wave of infection. A year ago, Wuhan's hospitals were alerted to cases of unexplained pneumonia, the world's first warning of the coming pandemic. The outbreak triggered a drastic 76-day lockdown. That's when I scrambled to leave the city. We have left Wuhan. A documentary by American filmmaker Hao Wu shows what it was like then inside Wuhan's hospitals. It feels so long ago. <laughs> like the Wuhan lockdown feels so long ago. But at the same time, the images, the stories are still really present. Zhang Hai lost his father to COVID-19. Now he's one of a handful of citizens trying to sue the local government for allegedly concealing information. If I keep silent, nothing will change, he says. But China has long tried to contain criticism. This week, sentencing a video blogger who reported during the lockdown to four years in prison. Her lawyer says she did nothing cruel. She's innocent. The World Health Organization is still waiting to get outside experts to Wuhan. The purpose of the mission is to go to the uh, original um, <clears throat> uh, point at which human cases were detected and uh, that we fully ex expect to do that. And the seafood market at the center of it all, where Chinese officials say they found traces of the virus, is now fully hidden behind new walls that surround it. The team is scheduled to travel here next month, and they'll work on the ground with Chinese scientists. And they'll look at anything that might help explain how and where the virus spilled over to humans. The lack of transparency and of outside involvement to this point have left a lot of room for speculation and theories about the origins of the virus. But these answers are critical to preventing future pandemics, especially when the WHO is saying that this may not be the big one. Uh, the uh, quick update also on vaccine development here. China today saying that it is very close to having its first fully approved vaccine and it will be rolling out doses to 50 million people by early February.